Good morning, guys. Uh, I promised in my previous video that I would share something with you that would help you understand how to create deep and lasting change in your life, in whatever area of your life you want to change, and I mean whatever area of your life. And this is what I'm going to do in this video now, so bear with me. Put your questions in the comments and I will reply to you as soon as I can if you have any questions. Okay, let's go. Firstly, I need to introduce to you the model that I use to help my, to help my clients change their lives. I call it the lock and key effect. And I call it this because basically um, we have everything we need inside of us. And so do you, all right? The thing is we've, we, we lock, we tend to hide and lock those things away after years of programming and conditioning, being hurt, being burned, um, taking on other people's beliefs and doubts. And we lock away our treasures and our gifts that we're meant to be sharing with the world, right? So I'm here, my job is to help you locate your key that will unlock those treasures for you so that you can live the life that you want to live, the life that you dream about and the life, the life that you desire. So the lock and key effect um, is, is the model with the letters C, S, B, R. The R stands for your results, reality. The B stands for your behavior. The S stands for your state, your state of mind, your emotional state, your psychological state. And the C stands for conditioning. Now, if we take these one by one, actually, I'm going to show you how your, your reality is dictated by your behavior. Okay. If we take reality, what I mean by reality, I mean your results in your life, your life as it is now. You know, your situation in your life. As, as it is now. That is your reality, that is your results in your life. So how did we get to these results? How did you land up where you are? Would you agree that it is, it is a result of all the decisions you have taken and not taken? Would you agree that it is based on your choices in your, in your past? That your behavior dictates your results? Behavior is the B in the CSBR model. Um, behavior is your choices, your choices and your decisions, your reactions to your any situation that you might be facing in the moment. That is your behavior, and that is what will dictate your reality, your the result in any situation you are you are facing. Okay, so let's go a little bit deeper. Um, did you know that your behavior 95% of your behavior is on autopilot. It is habit formed. And even though you may think that you're in control of your behavior, you're actually not. It's all subconscious. It's all autopilot, okay? Um, so now let's go back. Let's go now a further step. Your, the S in the model of CSBR. The S is your state. Your state of mind, your emotional state, dictates your behavior. What do I mean by that? If you are in an angry state, if you are frustrated, stressed, feeling stressed, and feeling overwhelmed, and you go out to pay a bill or something, or you're facing some situation or a person in front of you, and you're in this state, you need to make a decision, an important decision. What, what will the quality of that decision be if you're in that non-resourceful state? Okay, wouldn't it be much better? Wouldn't it be much better quality decision-making process if you would put yourself in a more resourceful state? So, can you see how the, the, your state, your quality of your state, dictates the quality of your decisions and your choices behavior, and which will result in the end results of your decision making. So, again, your state, your emotional state dictates your behavior, your choices, 
or non-choices, right? Because even not making decision is a decision. Um, and that dictates the result that you will get, okay? For example, in parenting, right? If you're coming home stressed from work and you, you, you miss the deadline, you got flack from your boss or you're from your supervisor and you're not in a very good mood, you're very you're in a non-resourceful state, all right? And your child comes to ask you something, okay? In that state and your child comes to ask you something, how will you respond to your child? If you're not in the present moment, if you're not in aware of your inner state, you're going to respond in a very angry way to your child, and then it's going to get a negative result, a negative response from your child, and you're probably going to end up with a situation that you didn't want to have. Okay. I'm not going to go into how you can change the situation because that's not what I'm discussing here. I'm discussing the model. So let's move on. So how do we... What dictates, what dictates your state? Your conditioning dictates your state. Your inner conditioning, your belief system, your values, the learnings that have been passed down to you from your years, from birth until where you are now, all that that is ingrained inside of you, in every, each and every cell of your body, in each and every thought that you think, in each and every doubt that you have, every belief about yourself, every belief about your life, about what your life should be like, Everything. That is your conditioning, okay? And that is where, that is what dictates your state. Your conditioning is going to dictate your state. Okay? Your belief about any situation. Let's take the work example, for the work situation, for example. Your conditioning about yourself, about the relationship that needs to be had with your supervisor or manager, your belief system about why you didn't reach your deadline, you know, and what that means about you, and your manager's response to you, what that means about you, whatever that belief come, whatever belief comes up out of that, that is going to dictate your state. So, if you have wavering beliefs, wavering values, things that are not matching, you're going to go into a low resourceful state. Okay. Am I making sense? So, when you want to create changes in the R section, in the result section of your life, we've got to go all the way back to the conditioning for the changes to be to be concrete, to be deep and to be long lasting. Okay. You can have all the vision boards you want in your life in every room of your house. But if what is on that vision board is not matching your energy, your your beliefs, your values on the inside on a deep level, nothing is gonna happen. They will create that vision for you. Okay? Your affirmations, yes, they help. The vision board helps to motivate and inspire you on a daily basis, yes. And to keep you on the to keep it in your vision, in your in the in your mind's eye every day and to help help you focus on that. Yes. And you need to make the changes on the inside, your beliefs, your values, your doubts, anything that comes up for you, you need to work on that, okay? So the vision board is actually a very good thing to be, um, to actually analyze yourself, you know? When you see things on your vision board, ask yourself, why do I want this? And what does not having this make me feel? Okay? And we, write those things down. By not having this in your life, how do you feel? And why do you want this in your life? Why is it so important for you in your life? And is it so bad if you don't get it? Okay? But the things that are really, really, really bad if you don't get it, those are the things that you need to work on <clears throat> even harder. Okay? So I hope I hope this has helped you understand how changes are made on the inside um, to create the life that you want. It's not an easy peasy job. Okay, it does require work, and that is why a life coach is important to to have to support you and to guide you in the right direction with with a whole toolbox of skills and techniques that can help you um, change the way you look at things and help your mind shift gear and and replace non-resourceful beliefs and values with things that are going to help you get to the life that you want. 
Okay. Uh, I hope it's helped you. One more thing. Um, a little exercise for you. Okay. If you would, if I use this with my clients as well. If you want to, um, no, I'm not going to do it. Uh, I will share it in another video for you. Okay. So think about what I've said. It's the CSBR model. Conditioning dictates your state. The state dictates your behavior and your behavior dictates your reality. Okay. Oh, and by the way, your conditioning is all learned. Okay. And everything works on autopilot now until you actually go inside and change the programming. You literally have to get inside and change your programming if you want to have a different life. Okay. I love you. Thank you for listening. Please share if you think this is going to help anybody and get in touch if you have any questions. I'm here to help. All right. Have a beautiful day. Have a lovely weekend. Keep changing your world. Love you lots. Bye-bye.